Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining us today with Speak Up and Empower Real Talk Travel. And as you know, we always have adventures for you. Where are we going to go today? Well, there's going to be a surprise if you've not read about it yet. But I just want to let you know Speak Up and Empower is an online membership made up of many individuals that are experts in their field and they all got something important to say. And I'm with Real Talk Travel. So I'm going to talk about travel and how exciting and how wonderful. Don't stop dreaming. Travel empowers you. Travel can do so much. It can rejuvenate you. Yes, we can get you there. Start start thinking about it and let's do something. Okay, where's our adventure? And who do we have with us today? Well, we've got Siko Stout. Stout? Stout. You sound <laughs> with us. And he's actually going to take us on a beautiful, phenomenal island in the Caribbean. And I haven't been there yet, but I want to go. So maybe you can join me and we all can go together. So welcome, Suki, and take it away and tell us all about this beautiful area that we're going to visit today. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Susan. You butchered my name, I must say. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're not the first and you're not going to be the last, I promise you. My name is Seku Stroud and I represent the Grenada Tourism Authority here in Canada. So I'm going to be taking you on a beautiful journey to my slice of paradise, which is pure Grenada, the spice of the Caribbean. We're located below the hurricane belt, so it's safe to come to Grenada year round because we are a safe destination outside the hurricane belt. So let's just dive right into the webinar. So again, Susan, thank you so much for having me. You know, Grenada is such a beautiful place and I'll be selfish if I don't share <laughs> with everyone. All right, and Grenada, it's all about sharing. And we have, even though we're such a small island, we have quite a bit of first. All right, so as you can see from the image on the screen, uh, this uh, snorkeler is actually snorkeling the world's first underwater sculpture park. Oh, yes. You can see the 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 the, the, the um the, the, the scuba di the diver, he is she is above the sculptures, which is a ring of children, mm -hmm. and those that ring of children is there to signify some of the some of our ancestors who were thrown overboard during the during the slavery period. All right, but I'm gonna get more into the uh, underwater offerings that Grenada has to offer later on in the presentation. This is just a tease. Of yes. what you have to offer in Grenada. That was actually me snorkeling. They took a picture of me up above. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> it is a beautiful sight to actually go to. Seriously. So, Grenada, before we dive right in in this COVID period, you know, it's really important that you know we go over some uh, health and safety protocols that you would have to get into Grenada. All right. So, in Grenada, we definitely need. Um, 72 hours for all travelers looking to get into the destination, 72 hours a PCR test needs to be done before you can actually step on the plane to get to Grenada. All right. We do have a travel portal where you can sign in. It's www.http uh, colon double star slash covid19.gov.gd travel slash COVID. This is where you would actually go to actually get a travel authorization to get into Grenada. It's a portal you would have to go into and this portal will definitely get you to, you will have to enter your approved accommodation. You will have to enter the confirmation in, information in regards to that approved accommodation to get you into pure Grenada for approval. This needs to be presented at check-in to Air Canada whenever your flight is actually scheduled to depart. Seven to two hours before departure, remember, you need your COVID-19 negative test. All right? I think that's yeah. getting pretty pretty way standard. Pretty so, standard, definitely. Yeah, across the board definitely. to travel. <laughs> definitely. Uh, when you get to Grenada, uh, you will be sent from, your, uh, from the airport by an approved transportation to your hotel where you would quarantine for up to seven days. All right. So what we like to do is say like, if you go on a two week vacation, you work from home slash you work from your hotel for the first week. Uh, and the second week you go out and you explore. 
Awesome. You know, excellent idea because yeah. right now I know lots of people are actually working from home. All right. So you would be shuttled from the airport to your approved accommodation, most of them are hotels. And after five days, you'll be given a second PCR test on the island. And once you are COVID-19 negative, your results would be given to you within four, 24 to 48 hours. Once that result is negative, you are free to roam the island as you please. And I'm telling you, when I say roam, you are really encouraged to just go and explore the island. Grenada is really small and it's a very safe island also. So we encourage you to leave the hotel and just go explore the destination any time of day, any time of night. You know, it's a very, very safe destination. And it's not a, it's not uncommon to actually see visitors on the verandas or on the balconies of some of our locals, you know, because the locals would invite our visitors home for a home cooked meal. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know, yeah, so it's that type of island, an island that's really, really catered to the visitor, you know, really, really catered to, you know, immersing yourself in the culture that is Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Sounds, And that's the way to do it. Get yourself right definitely, in there with the people. Definitely. Yeah. Just get in there with the people. So yeah. I'm going to show you a video right now. This video is from one of our uh, most recent campaigns, Just For You. Um, because Grenada, as the campaign says, is really just for you. You're into beaches and beautiful beaches. Grenada is just for you. You're into safety. Grenada is just for you. You're into excellent food. Well, Grenada is the culinary capital of the Caribbean. So with that, I'm just going to uh, play this short video for you. Perfect. I don't know if you can turn your sound up. Are you hearing now? A little bit, yes. Yeah, so as I was saying, Pure Grenada is really, really just for you. And uh, because Grenada is just for you, we take safety another to another level. You know, yours, the safety of the Grenadian population and the safety of our visitors is first and foremost in our minds. Mm -hmm. And because of how important and how top of mind we have safety, we've been considered a safe travels by the World Travel and Tourism Council. So you can see that stamp on the screen there. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And also on all the restaurants and all the hotels, you will also see the second stamp, uh, Pure Safe Travel stamp on located on most of the hotels and restaurants and stuff on the island also. Just, just again to show you, you know, that their safety is top of mind for everyone in Grenada. And I think we've got to get that out to people because they wonder if I go out of country, will I be safe? And here, all these islands and such as Grenada has done such a marvelous job to really make it safe so that we can feel a comfort level and peace of mind when we visit. Definitely. And Grenada is really, really safe, especially from COVID. Um, up until uh, two days ago, Grenada had zero COVID cases. Oh, awesome. Yeah, um, um, an American Airlines flight came in yesterday and they had two uh, persons on that flight with COVID and they have been since quarantined and um, gonna be waiting on their second test, which is gonna be done on the fifth day of arrival. All right, so come to Grenada if you want to actually explore the island and know that you're gonna be safe doing so. Because like I said, 
almost no COVID cases in, on the island, only two currently that are active. Uh, right. Definitely. So Grenada, we are pure safe destination and we're dedicated to bespoke experiences. Like I said earlier, we have something for everyone, for beach lovers, for adventure seekers, for people who go to Grenada for weddings and honeymoons, we got you. So Grenada is not only made up of one island, we are a three island destination. Grenada, Karyaku, and Piti Martinique. And Piti Martinique and Karyaku are dependent on Grenada and they're much smaller islands. And I put small in quotation because Grenada is also small, right? Mm -hmm. If you're traveling with me, you can actually uh, drive around Grenada in about an hour and a half if you're going with me. Oh, uh, fast <laughs> driver. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fast driver. You know, but if you go on a nice tour, you know, we we'll take you a nice day tour, it will be a beautiful, beautiful experience for you. Mm. But Grenada, we are a geotourism destination and we have lots of black sands and white sandy beaches, lots of waterfalls, crater lakes, sulfur springs. And of course, we have lots of tropical lush rainforests also. One ninth of our actual landmass is preserved as parks. And of course, we have the Wolves Foods Underwater Sculpture Park. We have excellent underwater wreck dives and also reef diving. Mm -hmm. It's really, really healthy reefs in Grenada and Caracol. And so, so really, when anybody goes, it's just going to be, regardless of what activity they want to do, whether diving, snorkeling, swimming, just relaxing, having fun, it, you, your island can provide it, right? My island can provide it. That's right. In Grenada, Karakou, or Piti Martinique. Yeah. And again, it's safe. Ah. And the beach that you would see there, um, Grand Dance Beach, is um, the, in the Grenada caption. That beach was named by Condé Nast magazine as the best beach in the world in 2019. Not just the Caribbean, but the best beach in the world. So for beach levels, when I say Grenada is a place for you, Grenada is indeed the place for you. Three kilometers of pristine white sand you can find on our Grand Dance Beach. Can you can you teleport me over there? Oh, I want to go too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you a bit more about Karakou. All right, so Karakou is located 23 miles uh, northeast of Grenada. It's a pop, um, square miles, it's 13 square miles only. It's also known as, known as the Isle of Reefs. So because of that, the underwater sea life in Karakou is spectacular mm -hmm. they're also very rich in big drum dancing and uh, african culture and also they're really rich in boat building too because on the island of Karakou and piti martinique lots of the scottish actually settled in the colonial time mm. and they brought down their boat building culture to those islands so up until today that boat building culture is still very much alive And of course, Piti Martinique. Piti Martinique, not to be mistaken by Martinique, which is French. Piti Martinique belongs to Grenada and it's so small, it's not even measured in square miles. It's measured in acres. So Piti Martinique is 586 acres and it's located 25 miles northeast of Grenada. And it's also very rich in the boat building culture. So in Grenada, like I said earlier, you can do something that appeals to almost anyone. Soft adventure, you can go dune buggy tours. There's uh, lots of nature hikes if you want to go hiking. Of course, there's sailing and yachting because Grenada, because we're so far south in the Caribbean, lots of the boats and yachts that are anchored in the Northern Caribbean islands, during a hurricane season, they would bring their boats down to Grenada because they would get boat insurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's just to show you that Grenada, we're below the hurricane belt geographically. We do get the hurricane season like the rest of the Caribbean, but the hurricanes very, very rarely affect us. And also pure romance in Grenada. Like we have a beautiful site for almost every person. A travel writer visited Grenada just before COVID, and she described Grenada as one of the most Instagrammable places she's ever been. Mm. 
there's a picturesque site on almost every corner that you go to in Grenada. Lost Everybody can become a photographer in Grenada, right? <laughs> That's right. Anyone can become a, a photographer. Yeah. You know, there's lots of excellent hiking trails. You can go to um, river tubing down the Balthazar River. You can go uh, hiking to waterfalls and rainforests. Uh, you can go boat watching. You can go at soft adventure tours, uh, doing the dune buggy tours to different uh, sites on the island. You know, it's just something that would appeal to everyone. And of course, we have a world's first underwater sculpture park. So I'll just go back and talk about the sculpture park just a little longer. The sculpture park can be seen while you snorkel or while you scuba dive. There are over 100 individual sculptures under the water and they each have their own meaning to it. There's like a um, someone sitting at the typewriter which is called the Lost Correspondence. And because Grenada is called the Spice of the Caribbean, there's a nutmeg princess that you can also visit under the water also. You know, so there are lots of, lots of, lots of beautiful images under the water that you can take pictures on, or you can just scuba dive, or you can just snorkel to some of those sites. I'm not a diver myself, but whenever I go to Grenada, I usually uh, snorkel to see those sites, and it is remarkable. In addition to that, we have the Caribbean's largest wreck dive in Grenada, which is the Bianca Sea. The Bianca Sea is a cruise liner that sunk off the coast of Grenada in the 60s. And because of that, it's a huge cruise liner. Mm -hmm. You can see actually how beautiful it is for the divers. I know that's like a bucket list items for divers. So Grenada is a diver's paradise in both Grenada and Caracol. Lots of wreck dives and lots of healthy reefs on the island. So I'll talk about some of our festivals. Uh, first and foremost, we have our Spice March, which is our local carnival. And that takes place usually the second weekend in August. And like most of the other Caribbean islands, but Grenada is the best, I would say, because we have our Juve morning, our Jab Jab. That party usually starts around 3 o'clock in the morning and it goes up until 12 noon. Oh, would, okay. <laughs> that's right. The yeah. locals, would, they would bathe themselves down in oil. So you can see the picture in the middle. Yes. They would bathe themselves in oil, or they would paint themselves in different colors. And they would just dance on the street behind trucks playing music, which is real fun, real safe fun. There's a day for pretty manners, as you can see the lady there in her costume or a day for traditional mass is the shortly on the right hand side. There's a day for steel band uh, music. There's a day for our uh, queen show. And of course, of course, there's a day for Calypso music competition. So again, Grenada during the carnival, it comes alive. We also have our Karaku Maroon and String Band Music Festival. Usually it takes place in April and it has over three days and lots of really, really delicious food, smoke food, and lots of entertainment, lots of dancing on the island. Lots of other islands usually come to Karaku and take place, take, um, and they usually showcase their talent at the Karaku Maroon and String Band Music Festival also. And we have our chocolate festival. Our chocolate festival is going on this year from the 7th to the 12th of May. And during our chocolate festival, the island is transformed into like Willy Wonka's island. Ah, sounds yummy to me. I'm telling you, I'm telling yeah. you. you. You can eat it, drink it, even bathe in it. Oh. During the chocolate festival. Okay, I'll take it off. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's, there's chocolate spa sessions, there's chocolate yogurt you can eat, even chocolate rum you can drink. Mm. Yeah, the island is really, really transformed during our chocolate festival. And we all consider the Caribbean's capital of chocolate. And because it's organic, dark chocolate is the healthy type. Right. All right. So remember that. So it takes place on the, between the 7th to the 12th of May. Sounds like a good time to go. <laughs> Excellent time to go if you're a chocolate lover. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> And we also have, a, for the music lovers, we have our Grenada Music Festival that usually takes place in June. Some of our past performances are 
uh, Kerry Hilson or Cassette Michelle, and uh, of course the son of uh, Robert Nesta Mali, Bob Mali, uh, Kimani Mali is some of the uh, past uh, participants of our, of our music festival. Um, this music festival takes place over three days on a really picturesque venue. And there are performances by reggae artists, gospel singers, R&B, and of course our local Calypso and Soca music. So some other things to do, you can go kayaking, paddle boarding, uh, there are guided bike tours, and of course there are scenic uh, historic tours, and of course culinary street festivals, and what come into Grenada without actually going into our spice market. Considering it's known as the Spice Island. Exactly. Definitely exactly. have to go there. <laughs> we all the spice of the Caribbean. When you get off the plane on the island of Grenada, you actually smell the aroma of the spices in the air. So with every breath you take, you smell the spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, you name it, Grenada has it. That's why we call the Spice Island. Mm. And because of that too, our food is delicious. Just steal a tour from KFC, it's finger licking good. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a foodie, so I'm sure I will oh, eat. Yeah. <laughs> it really is finger licking good because all the fresh herbs and spices that we infuse into our food, and most of the people on the island, we have um, kitchen gardens too, that we grow our local herbs and spices from. So trust me, you eat on even someone from the roadside, if you can eat from someone on the roadside, the food is delicious because we season and we flavor our food with all the local spices that has grown on the island in Grenada. The soil is so rich, I would say you can throw a pebble today and next week that pebble becomes a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's quite the soil. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> so now I get into the exciting part. All right, some of about some accommodation on the island. We have accommodation for everyone. All right, from bed and breakfasts to inns to guest houses and full all-inclusive resorts. But most of the resorts on the island are family-owned boutique hotels. All right, we don't usually build more than uh, five stories high. And our largest hotel is only 267 rooms. Yeah. So we don't really believe in mass tourism, mm -hmm. especially at a time like now with COVID and they're talking about social distancing. Grenada mm -hmm. is an ideal destination for when you want to do that. With all that beauty. <laughs> with all the beauty, definitely, and all the safety too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk about our Silver Sands Resort. The Silver Sands Resort is located on our Grand Lands Beach. And before I start with accommodation, I must tell you, most of the accommodations I'm going to be going over with you today, they are not more than 15 minutes away from the airport. So you okay. don't take a long time commuting from the airport to, the, to your resort. All right? Mm -hmm. And even though they're located so close to the airport, you do not hear the planes coming in. Because... The, it, the hotels are not located in the flight path. All right? So you can take a long time from airport to your destination where you're going to be staying to the beach. Maybe it'll take you maybe an hour and a half from getting off of your plane, checking in with immigration and customs and commuting from the airport to your accommodation and getting your bathing suit on and rushing to the beach, maybe an hour. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. So it's an excellent destination where you don't have to take a long time commuting. So Silver Sands is located on Grand Dance Beach, which is named by Condé Nast as the best beach in the world. And it's one of the new kids on the block. It was opened in 2019 and it features 43 standard suites and nine villas. It has two dining options and a spa and also a cigar and rum lounge. The resort is also a member of the leading hotels of the world, and it's uh, one of the 15 best luxury resorts in the Caribbean in 2021 by Caribbean Journal. Wow. All right. There's also a special going on right now for um, travel agent industry for 50% before 10% uh, fat. So take that in consideration also. Mm. And of course, we have our Spice Island Beach Resort. Our Spice Island Beach Resort is also located on our Grand Dance Beach. And this hotel is for 
where royalty actually stays when they come to Grenada, literally. Um, it looks stunning. Like it that picture. is beautiful. Stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a six-star diamond award recipient. Wow. Yeah, and it's all-inclusive and six to four elegantly appointed suites and full-service spa. It's a virtuoso property, and there's also a dive shop located on this property. At this resort, you're not a room number, you're a name. They greet you by name. Mm. The food is delicious, and the service is second to none. The owner of this hotel, um, um, he recently passed away, but he was knighted by the Queen of England for his contribution to ca Caribbean tourism, not only ca tourism in Grenada, but in the, uh, in the Caribbean itself. So his name is Sir Royston Hopkins. Passed away early 2020. And we also have, needed no introduction, of course, the Sanders Resort. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen the commercial on TV. Who says a swimming pool can't be in the sky? Yes. Or who says a <laughs> living room can't be in the middle of a swimming pool? Yeah. <laughs> and that's right. That's Sanders Resort, Grenada. Mm -hmm. All right. So Sanders, of course, is one of the larger hotels on the island at 257 rooms and has 10 dining options and it's located on Pigeon Beach, only five minutes away from the airport. Mm -hmm. All right. This resort is spectacular. It looks really, really, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And from some parts of the resort, you can actually see into our town of St. George's. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And of course, we have the one of the newer kids on the block again. It's uh, the Point by Pitti Calavini. All right, and this resort is actually the first dedicated wellness luxury resort on the island. It has a gym and a wellness center, spa, and is also located on a secluded beach and a marina. It has three villas and 12 condominiums and located 12 minutes, 20 minutes away from the airport. So it's perfect for family and couples. And the Royalton. The Royalton, I'm not sure, uh, Suzanne, if you know of um, the, the Rex Resort. So the Royalton bought over the Rex Resort. Okay. And they pumped $90 million into the property. Wow. $90 million into the property. Wow. So it looks beautiful there. <laughs> it is beautiful. And it's located on two beaches. And it's only about five minutes from the airport again. But you don't hear the planes coming in. Yeah. Located on two beaches. And this is the largest hotel on the island at 267 rooms. So okay. the, two, the two beaches, they would kind of go one side and then down the other? Is that That's correct. They They're yeah. one side and then in the middle, there's like a, there's the, a pool. And on the other side, the other beach. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful resort. You know, I haven't seen what they have actually done to the property since because it opened in March and had to close a few weeks later because of COVID. Mm -hmm. All right. But I've seen tons of pictures and I've heard my colleagues in Grenada actually talk about the resort. We've done site visits and they are simply wowed. Hey, everybody that's listening and on, come on, let's get together and go down and see this beautiful Royalton Resort, right? <laughs> that's right. Let's go to the Royalton. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the Calabash. The Calabash is another luxury resort located about 10 minutes from the uh, airport. And uh, it was voted number one hotel for luxury in the Caribbean by TripAdvisor in 2019. Mm. Your breakfast can be served on the beach or in a private balcony. There's only 47 suites and all with a sea view. Mm -hmm. All right. This property again is family owned. So it's not uncommon to see the owners of the property um, greeting you while you sit and have your dinner. You know, it's, it's, it's the service at this property is just second to none. I haven't seen a bad picture yet of what you've shown. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I think it, the hard There's... part would be the which one do we actually go to first? <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's the most difficult decision. Yeah. 
So we have La Luna. La Luna is perfect for couples. It's located in a really secluded on a secluded beach. And it's about 10 minutes away from the airport. La Luna is for lovers. Mm. And there's also an Asian inspired and Balinese therapist on property also. They offer daily yoga classes and also meditation and Pilates in the beach pavilion. There's a beautiful pool and most of the uh, standalone boutique um, rooms have plunge pools in them also. Wow. Yeah, mm. so this resort, again, like I say, is for lovers and honeymooners who wants to stay away from the crowd and do their own thing. Perfect resource for that. Romantic getaway coming up, folks. All Got right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the Radisson, located on Grand Dance Beach. It has 229 rooms and also has 15,000 square feet of unique meeting spaces. For if you have any clients that have, or mice clients, excellent mm -hmm. for conventions. Mm -hmm. There's also a swimmer bar and two uh, professional uh, tennis courts and a fully equipped gym at this property. The service yeah. at Radisson is also really, really good. Mm -hmm. The Radisson, the Royalton, and the Sanders are three of the only big brand name hotels that you would find on the island. All the others are family owned boutique hotels. Mm -hmm. This is be, uh, resort is also located on Grand Dance Beach. It, it's it's stunning. I can't believe how beautiful it looks. It's just I, in sign language, I'm drooling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you and me both. <laughs> you and me both. So the uh, the Koyaba again is family owned, located on Grand Dance Beach. There's a dive shop on property, and of course a professional tennis court with also a fully equipped gym on property. Real service oriented culture from all the hotels that you will find on the island and because Calaba Koyaba is actually a family owned boutique hotel you know there's a really low staff turnover and because of that the service you know usually lots of visitors we would repeat so you end up getting to know the, pe the, the the visitors who actually come back to the Koyaba you get to actually get used to the staff that will be serving you year after year when you go back to Grenada because Grenada once you go you become a client or a visitor for life. Ah, because we you become part of the family, right? That's right. You become yes. some part of the family. Yes. <laughs> and of course, you have the Blue Horizon. The Blue Horizon is located about seven minutes from the airport. And it's a Green Globe Gold certified property. Not located on a beach, but it's located about five minutes walking distance from Grand Dance Beach. This resort is in a garden style um, environment. And of course there are 32 self-catering one bedroom uh, apartments. And it's also a haven for 27 different species of tropical birds. Mm -hmm. There are even garden tours and you, the, whoever gives you the tours will also point out the different species of birds that actually live on the resort itself. Cool. Yeah. yeah. This resort is located really central so, and it's walking distance from Grand Dance Beach, as I mentioned earlier, and also the shopping. Okay. We, we've had a client say that it's stunning for sure, like with all the slides that you've been uh, showing. They're oh, really yeah. impressed. Yes. Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Grenada is the most Instagrammable country you would ever visit. Mm. And Monk Cinema. We have Monk Cinnamon overlooking Grand Dance Beach. Every single room in Monk Cinnamon has a view. And that's the view you'll be seeing on the screen at Monk Cinnamon from every single room. The view of Grand Dance Beach and our town of St. George in the, in, um, in the far distance. Stunning. This resort is stunning. There's a beach cabana and there's also a restaurant up um, with a swimming pool you would love it. This beach is at uh, this resort. The service is excellent. You will again meet the GM who would sometimes come and greet you personally when you check in. You know, this resort and the service at this resort is spectacular and second to none also. And we have our Chubu Bay Resort. Chubu Bay is located again about seven minutes from the airport. And it's a mixture of 70 spacious rooms, suites, and villas among a tropical garden setting. 
there's a dive shop and a scuba center on property. And they also offer local cooking classes. And there's a street food village that takes place every Wednesday. Mm. The street food village is really popular with locals. As the vendors, they, the, at the resort, they invite the local food vendors to come on the resort to have like a display. And you can actually eat from the vendors, buy food from those vendors. And there's usually a live party also. Right. Hey, that sounds mm -hmm. exciting. What better way to mingle with the locals and try the cuisine, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. True Blue Bay is known for that. And it's excellent, excellent food. And the service at True Blue Bay and the settings at True Blue Bay is truly spectacular. And from new developments, we have the Kimpton Kiwana Bay coming to Grenada. The Kimpton is a renowned hotel. It's a part of the intercontinental group of hotels. And the Kimpton is the, coming to Grenada is only going to be the second Kimpton in the entire Caribbean. The first Kimpton is in, I believe, um, Cayman Islands. So the Kimpton is uh, scheduled to open later on in 2021. And uh, we are very, very excited about it. It yeah. is located on Grand Dance Beach right next to Mount Cinnamon. So the spectacular views that you will see at Mount Cinnamon, you will actually get that at also the Kimpton when it, when it opens later on this year. I mean, the view, the picture of their window is all facing out at the ocean. And wow, it just looks amazing. I, I wish I could find a better word than stunning, but what else is it <laughs> but stunning? <laughs> stunning looks, stunning looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and again, we have another new development at Anadale Waterfall and Forest Park. Anadale is one of our waterfalls on the island, and they have added a restaurant um, that actually uh, very, very close to the falls. So at night, the, the waterfall would light up, and the uh -huh. restaurant, and you can see the falls from um, the restaurant while you eat it. Yeah. This yeah. is an excellent addition to uh, the product of Grenada, and we're really, really excited for all the visitors who visit Grenada to actually go to Anadale Waterfalls and uh, sample the amazing food that you would get at the restaurant, too. And what a view! Like, who, who, you definitely don't want to miss out on going there and eating the cuisine and seeing that beautiful view that you're showing us here. Wow! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's wow, it's wow. You said it, you said it. All right, so you want to stay connected with Grenada? Please do follow us on social media. Our handle is Discover Grenada, and our social media hashtag is Pure Grenada. Uh, please go on over to our site and follow us now, and you know, be amazed. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Seiko Stroud, and I'm at your service. Well, Seiko, we really appreciate you coming on and. Oh, wow. Just giving us this overview of this fantastic spice island in the Caribbean that all of us can get around easily. But the aromas you said, the accommodations, I mean, they are amazing. And the activities, like you said, adventure, laid back, the diving site to see that uh, cruise ship that went down. Uh, snorkeling ah the beaches number one in the world like it's i wow i just don't know what to say except the fact that we all gotta get there right and, yeah. yeah and just kind of enjoy that so we really really appreciate you coming uh aboard today and talking about this beautiful island and how marvelous it actually is and how really it's safe and the fact that you, as an island, uh, they, are, as an island, are really concerned with our welfare. And I really like that people think that they can't travel and be safe, but we can travel and be safe. And we can do it in such a way, especially with the COVID testing and so forth, to, so it, we're not spreading it. And like you said, two came from Ameri American Airlines, but they quarantined them so that they wouldn't have um, access to other people. So it's a real protection to know that everything's put into place like that so that we can travel and feel that peace of mind and safety. Yet go and visit a beautiful, beautiful island like Grenada. So I just 
amazing. So thank you. Uh, thanks everybody for joining today. And uh, we definitely will have an adventure next week and you have to stay tuned. And uh, also with the out there, uh, adventure show there will be an event that will be coming up next week through, through the outdoor adventure show so i'm going to stay tuned for that look out for that there'll be uh information as to how to join and see that but thanks everybody please stay safe please be healthy keep smiling dream travel but start booking your travel even for later because you could miss out on those great rooms that you want to be at so everybody you take care and we'll definitely join you next week. Bye. Thanks, Siko. Right. You're most welcome. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah. Keep Grenada dreaming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>